Well, that was a rude awakening. Seems like there's a lot going on. Bert. Uh, flashbacks. Damn brat! I'll sue. Well, um, okay, that, that's an interesting design for an app. And now everything's frozen. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't blame him at all. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's get rid of that. <laughs> all right. Hints. All right, this kind of gives you the lay down of uh, whatever you're supposed to go do next. Um, so right now it's go to, uh, to the new lodging area and exit the subway. Now, I actually originally wanted to wait till, like, the 4-9 was a Saturday and everything, but, uh, that, that would be, that would have been insane. We would have been waiting for several more years before this came out. So, I wasn't gonna go that insane about how I was gonna upload it, it how I was gonna do this, but, <laughs> uh, we'll just keep it to the day. Well, starting today, Sojiro Sakura will be taking care of me. His house should be in the back streets of this residential area. Okay, we can rotate the camera and kind of look around. Uh, we can bring it back to default. Uh, and we can adjust the speed at the config and rotate to see things around us. And talking to people, we can actually have conversations with individuals. Uh, you can only talk to the people that have little bubble, uh, like speech bubbles above their head, or uh, if they have little those lines coming off of them, like on the picture to the right, we can listen, but we can't talk. Uh, kind of give us an idea of what's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and turn auto advance off uh, because of that earlier. Uh, let's talk to him. Oh, he's unfriendly. What was that? I I wanted to ask for directions. Huh? You want to get to the residence of that address? That's an alley a bit further back. Uh, take you right after the apartment with the stairs. No, um, no. Uh, he may have just had a bad day. Uh, what am I to do? I'm feeling under the weather, but I've got an important meeting tomorrow. I thought I'd give this place a shot, but hey, they said they were closed for the day. And it's still, uh, still so early too. I can't just, I just can't believe it. Hey, I should go in and ask again. I, I don't know where he was planning on going, but okay. Well, also in our map, 
um, it'll show us it, the the red exclamation point essentially tells us exactly where we need to go. Um, do I not? Okay, I'm trying to remember these controls. R1 brings up your map. Uh, it, as you can see, uh, it brings up uh, it Ren's phone and kind of tells us where we are, and it shows icons of different areas that we're in. Um, they'll have different things like the movie theaters, the, the film reel. We've got the grocery store that we can buy items at, uh, vending machines. It, we'll get more into the different areas we can go to uh, when we can, uh, but uh, let's kind of listen in. Let's... There another, um... I Accident? I see a policeman over there. Oh, he's just watching to make sure everyone's safe. It'll be scary if something like that happened again, though. Let's hurry home. Um, the nameplate here says Sakura, so this looks like the it might be Sojiro Sakura's house. Even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't seem like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. Looks like no one's home. They what now? Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, it belongs in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to. Well, thanks for letting us know that. We gotta look for LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's a C on that, but yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to question it. Uh, this place looks like... Uh, this, it looks like the place is LeBlanc. Uh, my goodness. <laughs> Words. Uh, I'll go inside. If you just choose to stay outside, you can just kind of walk around for a little bit. But you do have to come in here. A public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. Uh, the citizens it. can't live in peace if this keeps up. Uh, definitely not. Oh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. <laughs> oh boy, he, he's not even paying attention. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Well, we'll be going now, the payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time period for that. So, you're the guy. Also, yes, they're gonna say a lot of you're the guy, or him, or Joker. Um, that'll come in later, but uh, yeah. <laughs> they're never gonna actually say his name because you can make it whatever. Guys. Uh, well, we don't know who he is. It's kind of obvious that he is. Sojiro, but I uh, will be will be kind and, and ask. Yeah, I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up, but you're the one, huh? Have you yep. been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and well, not that that matters. Follow me. All right. Well. Um. This is your room. <laughs> Talk about conditions of. Um. 
least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. What? I just got up here. Uh... I mean... It, it's just a big room. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? Yep. That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Well, you didn't have to put it that way. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. I don't plan Behave on... Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. The whole year cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin? Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. I'm sorry. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. Uh, that luggage, kind of quote unquote, is our uh, DLC. It is the uh, like deluxe stuff, and I guess uh, from Persona Five related type of stuff. All right. Um, sent back from home. It's full of clothes, daily necessities. I'll change into more comfortable clothes for now. And, well, a lot more casual. It's a table covered in dust. If I draw a line here with my finger, in the dust with my finger, it'll probably be really easy to see. Um, there's a lot of unused household items laying here. It's not organized at all. I should start cleaning first. Uh, let's check out where right quick. What? what? All the stuff! Okay. Uh, shelf with old books. Some parts of these shelves have rust on them. All these difficult looking books were carelessly crammed in it. Uh, well, let's continue check. A bed? There's a mattress here. Is this supposed to be my bed? It's a desk stacked... It, golly, this is going to be terrible if I can't read. Gosh. It's a desk with a stack of books on top. No one else uh, can use this as a desk while it's like this. Alright, let's actually start cleaning. And... Stuff everything there, make sure our sheets are on. And now it's evening. It's late, and it seems like I've been cleaning for a while. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Well, yeah, it looked pretty bad, dude. <laughs> Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. No, not at all. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Alright, I, I got that. 
How to advance time. Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about your schedule before you act. Yeah, so there are different events that'll happen uh, that'll advance time from like uh, early morning, afternoon, at lunch, at like lunch, afternoon, din like evening. Um, I'll get more into it as those events open up, uh, but when we're at the beginning of the game. Uh, we don't have really events that are really there to do. I might be able to use these shells if I remove the books. And we can't really do anything currently. Um, there are all these unused household items lying here. It's not organized at all. So, yeah. The only thing we can do is go to bed. Starting today, this is my room. Change and go to sleep. Or don't go to sleep yet. Uh, we're going to go to bed. Arrest. Trial. Criminal record. Damn brat! I'll sue! Having flashbacks of all that. Still, I just couldn't let that go. <sighs> that day. I ended up going home late. So we actually get to see what happens. Just get in the car. Oh, just get in the car. Hmm? I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they were just up ahead. How dare you call me. No! Well, this already looks bad. Don't give me that shit. All right. It looks like that drunk man is bothering that woman. No! Please stop! She's in danger. Yep. I, he could. He can't ignore it. I, yeah. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll, I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. Well, that's just mean. No. Yeah, this this guy's a scumbag. Just to put it out there, if it wasn't obvious at this point. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you? So a politician. At? Get out of my face. This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See. This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car. Well, we see a little bit of it. Huh? It's that weird app that somehow ended up on my phone. The icon almost looks like an eye. I thought I deleted it. Eyelids are starting to get heavy. That's a weird shot at the toilet. Okay, this is not the Shining game. <laughs> and reveals 
An evil room? Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Well, <laughs> a creepy individual for sure. So you come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. It important matters? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Wait, ruin? I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Uh... I... wait, what? <laughs> you didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep. Well...